I just want to state something before I leave real quick. Um, I've been saying for over two years how we need to call out the, the side that wishes not to be labeled. The whole anti-SJW, anti-feminist side, um, yeah, uh, which doesn't want to be labeled, so just my labeling them that way, you know, is considered offensive because, you know, you want to complain about people getting offended at things, but you guys get offended at more things than they do. Um, I mean, just like I say, just mention the word masculinity and, and everyone, you know, throws a tissy fit. Um, yeah, w when you guys make it your goal to destroy feminism or destroy SJWs and you don't call out any of the shit on your side, I mean... Let's say someone like Baring. I think Baring called out. I think I can. I can think of one time where he called someone out, and that would have been uh, he called out the atheist gamer, right? Other than that, well, you know, they the, the anti SJWs practically have to kill someone to to for you to say anything negative about them. I mean, you can't even label any of these people. You can't give a label, or you have to prove the label. You can't give criticism of the ideology they stand for because, well, you know, that's not really that ideology because we don't want to label the ideology because you want to sh shut down any possibility of that sort of thing being criticized. Um, yeah, this is the result. You have a movement that stands for bullying and harassment and you don't call it out and you don't do anything about it. It doesn't matter whether there are reasonable people within the movement. If you're not calling out the shit that's in the movement, if you're not making statements saying, hey, you know, this, this kind of sucks. I may disagree with feminism and, and the SJW mindset, but this sort of thing sucks. No, none of that. None of that. And you got all these people making these ponage videos and all these people following those that are making ponage videos, going and harassing anyone that they've made a ponage video, you know, against, like, you know, people who might have, you know, 20 subscribers and now they leave YouTube and then you call them a wuss for leaving YouTube. I, you know? Then you got people like Black Pigeon Speaks who claims that giving women rights is is the cause of the fall of our civilization <laughs> you know uh and nothing barely gets said about him where are the anti sjw's making all these videos against black pigeon speaks there are a, there's a small handful but it took someone being as extreme as Black Pigeon Speaks for people to say anything about it at all. Okay? You didn't call out the shit. People are, were trying to tell you, hey, you need to call out this shit. And now you're going to want a pity party because you're being shut down. I'm going to just sit here with popcorn and watch the whole thing crumble away. Because so many of you were too stubborn to actually try to address this stuff. And some of you are still so stubborn that, like I've said, if I just say that, well, I don't think right, I don't think Sargon's a, a left-winger, you throw a tissy fit. You can't even say that. I'm not saying that, that Sargon is a racist, is a sexist. No, I'm just saying he might, he doesn't seem to be on the left. Oh, we're so offended! You guys get more offended at shit than the SJWs do. Flat out. You're, you're no better than the people who talk about microaggressions. You're, you're no better than that. Someone said that Sargon isn't, isn't on the left. <laughs> That's how you're acting. So like I said, you've won. You've won. And now YouTube is going to turn to shit because of how much you're winning. So time to get out the popcorn and watch this shit go down. Watch this sinking ship. <laughs>